and welcome to this farming simulator tutorial on greenhouse crops and which one will bring you the most money if you want to take a set it and forget it approach. Stay tuned. Hey there, welcome to this farming simulator 22 tutorial. I'm Mighty Mike and we're here today I'm going to take a look at greenhouses very briefly and then I have some interesting data which I'd like to share regarding which one of the crops will make you the most money. You might be surprised. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the greenhouses here. I do have three different ones set up here. We have the small and then the medium. And then over here we have the large. And I do have uh, tomatoes in the large currently growing and a lettuce over here and then strawberries in the small one. So we'll take a look at the menu here real quick. So you can get to greenhouses through the construction menu. You'll go to production and then greenhouses. And you see here are the three options, $3,000 for the small, 5,000 for the medium. And then of course, 10,000 for the large. You can place them down, uh, spin them, rotate however you want to just like any other placeable. If we go to the productions menu, there's two ways to do that. You can either open the greenhouse here and there's a trigger just inside the door here. If you have the interactive triggers turned on, you'll see a blue glowing trigger marker. But if we come in here and click the, there we go. You can either go that route or directly through your menu and the production chains menu over here. So you see here the small greenhouse, we have uh, tomatoes, lettuce and strawberry, and that's the same through all three greenhouses. Okay, so the small greenhouse here, you can see the production amounts here, tomatoes, it'll take 16 uh, units of water and make 16 tomatoes. And lettuce and strawberry also gives you their formulas. Uh, medium greenhouses, it goes up. So the medium greenhouse will take 28 units of water and make 28 tomatoes. And this is per cycle per hour. So you can see here there are two cycles per hour. So it should effectively make double this amount. Whatever is shown here, you've got lettuce, it should make double that per hour. And then uh, large greenhouses, again, it increases. So everything goes up obviously with the size of the greenhouse. Uh, medium greenhouse holds 10,000 liters of water and the large holds 20. The outgoing products field here shows your product and what the greenhouse is doing with it. So for instance, the large greenhouse here, we have tomatoes set to store, which means it will place them on pallets or store it within the greenhouse if the pallet zone is full. And then you can also change that by down here, change output mode. You can sell it directly or distribute if you have other production chains available to distribute to, such as the bakery would use the strawberries. So that is greenhouses 101, quick and dirty. Uh, the other thing, they only take water. That is the only requirement for an input. So you have that that you need to fill up periodically. Uh, you can go several days, four, four or five days on a fill up. So pretty good. Well, I guess it would be months, four or five months before you have to fill up. The other thing I want to talk about is this thing out here. I have, if we go back to the construction menu and if you go to silo extensions and then this guy down here is a supplementary water tank says it holds 5,000 liters and uh, is supposed to help you supply the greenhouses with water and must be placed near a greenhouse. So if you see here, I do have one placed down. Uh, you can get a distance away from the greenhouses and it will tell you that it must be placed near the greenhouses. Now I did place one within the zone here of the greenhouses and nothing happens. The Capacity of the greenhouses do not change, nor can I fill it 
or draw from from it. So I don't know if this is bugged for some reason. I have not found a way to either make it work or that it changes any type of capacity on the greenhouses. So I don't know uh, about the water tank. If you do, definitely leave me a comment below, but it is not working for me. So what I wanted to do is a test to find out which of these greenhouse products actually makes the most money. If you just set the greenhouse to sell, uh, if you're like me, you kind of view these greenhouses as a supplementary source of income, kind of place it on your farm, minimal tending to, and just let it sell the product. Uh, if you want to deal with the pallets that they produce, which is a lot of pallets, uh, you can definitely make more money because you can hold those pallets to a time where the prices are better and also the greenhouses will take a cut of the profit if you have those set to auto sell. So something to consider, you will not make as much money by selling directly from the greenhouse as you would by handling the pallets yourself, but it is rather convenient. So I'm going to perform a test here. We're going to set one of the greenhouses, this large greenhouse here. We're going to take each crop and run it through two years and let it auto sell. I'm going to take the proceeds for each month and average those out and we'll uh, figure out over a two year period of time which one of these crops will bring you the most money. So we're back here after the test. I've turned the triggers on so that you can see where the triggers are located around the greenhouses. But what we're going to talk about is which one of these products will bring you the most money. So it's interesting, before we get started, I wanted to show you here that a pallet of strawberries is 150 liters. A pallet of lettuce is 200 liters. And then a pallet of tomatoes is 100 liters. So something to consider when you're doing all of these is which one holds the most. And strawberries and tomatoes produce a whole lot of pallets. The lettuce, not nearly as many. So here's the, the interesting data. I ran the test for two years for each product. I had the greenhouse set to auto sell the product as it was produced. So for tomatoes, the average monthly profit was $3,350. For lettuce, the average monthly profit was $3,310. So a $40 difference there. And for strawberries, 3,346, so that's only $4 less than the, the tomatoes. So in a nutshell, it really doesn't matter which one you grow. You're going to end up with roughly the same profit if you let the greenhouse automatically sell it. Now, if you choose to deal with the pallets yourself, and load them up and haul them off. Based on the numbers, the average numbers there, you're probably still going to end up with about the same amount of profits. Grow lettuce. Three pallets versus two dozen. That's a no-brainer in my opinion. Grow the lettuce, you have much less pallets to deal with. They bring more per pallet. It's a win-win in my opinion. Now strawberries, they are used in a production chain, I believe uh, at the bakery. So if you are doing uh, that production chain, then you will need the strawberries for that. But lettuce and tomatoes, they are just sold. Grow lettuce. That's the Mighty Mike opinion. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, 
go ahead and click that subscribe button today. Appreciate you all for watching. We'll see you soon.